Now, I know that through, like, Kwin scripts and stuff, and, and, like, obviously you can do the window rules to place windows. Like, there are ways to do it in Plasma. But... I don't, I don't know how much you even want to get into, like, the whole... The whole multiple thousands, multiple years of comments that is that discussion. Yeah, so... I think it's a very important distinction to make there between the user positioning windows mm -hmm. and the app positioning as windows. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like the user positioning windows is something we 100% support. Sure. Yeah. And yeah, so like that's the entire point of having a compositor, right? Sure, sure, sure. sure. Like, or window manager in the X11 world, uh, that the user is able to customize that to any degree they want. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And with Quinn scripts, you can do absolutely crazy things, like uh, a replica of the the scrolling compositor thing. Have, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, I have seen that. That's super cool. It, it, it's, it's obviously if things like Cronkite for tiling and a whole manner of crazy things you can do. Yeah, applications positioning themselves is, however, a lot more controversial. Um, partially just because, uh, well, lots of people confuse it with session um, restoration. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, I need to clarify there that the Wayland session restoration isn't just about you log out and you log back in, but also you close an app and you open it again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, it's restoring the application session right. and the window properties it had the last time, not just, like, your whole computer session. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like most of the people asking for apps to position themselves are actually asking for session restoration. Like they want their apps to be where they were the last time when you open them again, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which is completely reasonable. And we're on a good way to make that uh, a reality. Mm. Applications positioning themselves is generally at least the cases that I would say are reasonable are like scientific apps that do super special stuff, right? You have one window with a button in it. You click that. It starts a Python process with some script that's not even using the same toolkit as the normal app and then spawns a window that should be like right above that button or something in that right, direction. Right. And the controversial bit is mostly that if we make these applications like possible with native Wayland, well, Electron will just add support for that for normal apps, right? Are you instead on that, of on that note? Are you aware of the W three C discussion regarding letting browsers spawn additional windows? Oh yeah, I don't fully understand why it's happening. <laughs> to put everything like, in every the browser, browser that's blocks. Why. Every browser I know blocks apps from popping, like from opening new right. pop-ups and windows to a degree where it sometimes breaks bad websites. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. that seems like the next extreme level of don't do this uh, for websites. I know they want to have like super crazy productivity apps in the web browser, judging by how well... Uh, Autodesk Fusion works in a web browser, I would say it's a bit of a moonshot. <laughs> like, I, But yeah, in general, we I, I don't think that discussion will end anytime soon. Right. Um, my, my concern we, there we'll is... We need to find something. Mm -hmm. my, some my... solution for these apps. Sorry, keep, I keep trying to speak. Over. My bad, sorry. <laughs> um, my concern there is that if if that like discussion goes through with the browser side, then it becomes a thing where there actually will be apps that like there, there will be web apps that kind of expect it. And then it's like, what, what do you do there? It's like at that point, I feel, yeah, I feel like I don't have to worry a lot about it because, mm -hmm. well, like I said, web browsers block just normal pop-up windows. Mm -hmm. I do not think browsers will just make like let 
apps do that just all the time, mm -hmm. it will be at least something that applications will have to support not doing that, even if it's just for, hey, I'm using a browser on a tablet. Mm -hmm. There ain't no multiple windows here, mm -hmm. so it needs to do something sensible. Right, right. And the majority of software currently is also like Windows oriented, right? Where they can do all the positioning stuff, mm -hmm. but the vast majority doesn't do anything crazy with Windows because generally it's a much easier user experience to do one window where, or like maybe with some dialogues mixed in instead of a crazy interface with five windows that the user needs to drag around and mm -hmm. like be mindful of which window is above which other window. And there's a reason GIMP does one singular window by default nowadays mm -hmm, mm -hmm. instead of the three split windows. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it, so it sounds like to me, you're relatively apprehensive about supporting this protocol. Yeah, so I think we need to find some solution for these like niche edge case apps. Mm -hmm. I think it would be really good to support more scientific applications. Obviously, it only has advantages, but we need to find a way that works without bringing along all the problems we had on X11. Mm -hmm. Like my favorite example is KiCad. Mm. KiCad uh, is a great app. I use it regularly. But well, the one thing that really annoys me about it is that it tries to be clever about window management. Mm -hmm. I imagine on a lot of setups, that is totally fine. But I ha sometimes use my laptop on the go, and sometimes I connect my external monitor. When I start KiCad, it remembers its last position. Uh -huh. So I started on the external monitor. It remembers it was on the laptop the last time. So it starts on the laptop display. Mm -hmm. I move the project window to the external monitor. Open the schematics window. It remembers I had the schematics window open on the laptop display the last time. Uh -huh. So I go and move that up. I add a new component. That's a new window, which remembers its position separately. It starts on the laptop display. I see. I change the property of a component, same thing. It has like 10 different windows. Each position remembers separately, and it always starts on the wrong screen. Mm -hmm. So like that's the kind of thing I want to avoid. Because with session restoration, I can just, in the compositor settings, say, don't restore the positions, and then you're done. Right. We can also be smart about it and say, don't restore the screen it was on. Mm -hmm. Like if the app goes and says, restore the session, it should just move the window to the screen I'm actually currently working on. Mm. There are a lot of things we can do and be smart about if it's better than just we throw a position over the fence. And the compositor has to decide whether or not to break the app or accept its position. So that granularity is possible with the session restoration then? I actually wasn't aware of that. Yeah, it's all completely in compositor control, right? Mm -hmm. So if you want your positions to be remembered, you can make the compositor do that. If you don't want them to be remembered, or if you want nothing to be remembered from the last session, you can tell the compositor to forget everything. Mm -hmm. uh, like, obviously, it depends on the compositor to add that option. Sure, but sure, sure. on the positioning side, at least, I will make sure that option is added because, like I said, it annoys me a lot when apps get it wrong. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I think you, I think you've given me like a, a relatively new perspective on this on this protocol. Um, I yeah no I I. I at the end of the day, I hope that what we have is use cases that make sense. Obviously, like there, there are there are there are dumb things you can do. Um, are you aware? What is it called? Um, there's a game called Window Kill, 
Like, there are, there are dumb things you can... For anyone who's unaware, this is a game which will take advantage of the fact that you can position windows on windows. Windows on... Win yeah, that makes sense. Um, and you actually shoot at different windows, and it will, like... It fires projectiles between... It's obviously just abusing the fact that you can do this. It's super cool, but, like, that's... Whilst it's cool, it's not necessarily, like, a real legitimate... You don't want most apps to be able to do this, right? Like, this, it's cool that you can, but, like, it's it's more of an oversight rather than an intention. Yeah, as far as I know, I don't know if it was that game or a similar one, but they can also just open a normal window that's, like, transparent mm. in uh, in the background and just render a bunch of windows inside of, like, the actual real window and mm. just... Like you don't like for a game, that's fine. Sure, right? sure. It 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 might look a bit less fancy, but it's okay. Mm, mm, mm. It's a fun game, so 